Hi, Paul here and welcome to the Groove CRM channel. This channel will cover various tools in Groove CM. Today is the 10th installment of the GrooveCart series. The GrooveCart tutorials will help you get a solid foundation in GrooveCart and help you get your GrooveCart store up and running. Today we will cover quantity discounts, one-click upsell, and related products. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't have a GrooveCart account, there's a link below where you can get one for free, no credit card needed. The link is my affiliate link, and if you sign up for Groove through my link, I will provide you with one-on-one -on -one coaching to get your first groove cart up and running. So let's get to the video. We're going to start with quantity discounts. Okay, I'm in my groove cart dashboard and I'm going to select the general shop store shop. In order to set up discounts, what you need to do is you need to go to products, my products, and set up a discount for the product that you're talking about. So discounts would be like if you buy two, you get 5% off. Buy three, you get 10. Buy four, you get 15% or something like that. I'm going to just go with the uh, the T-shirts because there's different variations of it. What you want to do is you want to go to pricing and variance. So under pricing and variance, you get quantity discounts. And right now, we just have quantity of one, you don't get any discount, all right? But let's just say you get a quantity of two, so I'm gonna change that to two. And I'm gonna write uh, five in here, and I'm gonna change it from $5 to 5%. And I'm gonna hit apply. So now I've got down here, the discount is minus 5% for a quantity of two. Now I'm going to do this again for a quantity of three, and I'm gonna just say 10% and change it again to percentage and i'm going to hit apply now really why would you want to just keep giving them giving them more the fact is you want to you want to make as much as you can on each cart and these companies a lot of these companies that are doing this and we're doing this with um printly right here and uh or excuse me we're doing this with printful right here and they give you a discount. So let's just say uh, here it is the t shirts, $3.99. That's four bucks. That's the shipping cost for a single product that you've already added into your product. And then the second product is a buck and a quarter. So you're going to make, you know, like $374 on, on each, each product, or excuse me, $274 on each product that you sell additionally so giving them a discount you're going to make a little bit less but you're getting them to buy more and so aliexpress does this tscape which i haven't talked about but you can also sign up for tscape tscape does this they charge a little bit more i'm, I'm just looking at the t-shirts right here uh in the u.s they charge 350 but then it's a buck 50 so it's you're, you're making two dollars off of it um it depends on the, sh the shirt too because if you use uh the glid and long sleeve it's 550 but they're going to charge two dollars so you can make more money on it by making by making more money and getting them to buy more in the cart that's a good thing so back to here uh you could even set up more you can easily just throw them in the trash if you don't like the discounts and make better discounts or whatever, but you want to save it. And I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to exit it. I'm just copying this because I'm going to bring up our page. Dentalstoreshop.com. So just right now, if, if, if somebody selects 
a t-shirt. Um, I, I've, I found there's a couple problems that I didn't address. So when I select the t-shirt, right now, right now I don't see any discounts in it. And, and so you really need to uh, fix that up. So let's see, I'm gonna go to, I'm going to go down and I'm going to bring up the builder. This layout that I've selected really needs a lot of fixing up at the moment, but I'm going to go to pages. These are the navigation pages. This is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the regular pages. And I'm going to go to the, the product page. And I know this is layout too, and I know that because it says layout two right here. So, so I'm gonna select layout two. Here's my layout two. And what I need to do is I need to add something in here. So I'm gonna to go to elements. These are global elements. You don't wanna do that. You wanna do product elements. All right, so let's see, carton pricing. It should be in here. Quantity discount. I'm going to bring that over to here and I'm going to put it right above the add to cart button. All right. And that, this, is, this is not what I put in there. This is just their sample and I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to hit refresh. And now we have the quantity discounts here. Buy two, get 5% off. Buy three, get 10% off. So there's a couple ways they could do it. If they just bought two, and I'm just going to add two, they want two of the same thing. Maybe you know, buying them for the kids and they're all the same size. Who knows? Just going to hit add to cart. So then it wants uh, all your information, but you can see it's, it's, it's taking 5% off this order right away here. So let's just say uh, I, want, I want some different sizes. Um, I'm just gonna physically go back. to the t-shirts and I'm going to select one more shirt and I'm going to change the I'm going to change the size of it and I'm going to change the color but I want you to notice when I change the color this doesn't work okay but let's just add that add one excuse me I'm going to add it to cart I didn't change the size of it, so that wasn't very good. So here's the red one. And here is the uh, black ones. So now the discount is 10%. All right, so it's minus $2 from for a tw uh for that this is a quantity of two minus ten percent this one actually says minus two dollars that is ten percent roughly of 1999 not sure why this says ten percent but i'm not going to worry about it what i need to do is i need to fix this other situation here and we we have talked about this before i probably just didn't put it in i have the quantity discount in here but what I don't have is it changing colors. So what you do is you select this, you go to your settings but button and you say, show thumbnails. Then it will ask you where, below, uh, top, left, right. I'm just gonna leave it below and uh, the bottom. And I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm going to go back to the shopping cart and I'm going to go back to the short sleeve camping shirt. 
And I'm going to refresh the page. Okay, so now I have not only the various colors down here, which, but if I select a color, it will move it to that color. And let's say I want to buy this one in small. I'm going to add one. Add to cart. And now I have three of them. Uh, size medium, size large, size large. And this is the green one, so on and so forth. Now let's talk about one-click upsells. So I'm on my dashboard again in my store. And my dashboard looks like this because I had never finished setting it up. The main thing that I'm really missing is my payment plan. And in order to show you how this looks, I can't do it in this unless I set up a payment plan. So I'm just going to switch to a different account where I already have a payment plan set up. So I'm going to go right here to this account and um, the first thing I want to do is I want to put it in a test mode. So I go down to my settings here and I go payment gateways. And I'm going to go enable test payment. So it says this action will disable your currently active payment method until you enable it manually again. Yep, that's what I want to do. In other words, it won't work. If anyone comes to your store, it won't work until you re-enable it. So let me hit OK. And now, now that it's gone through that, it says disable test payment. I don't want to disable the test payment. We're fine there. All right. So now I'm going to go to products. My products. So I got a whole bunch of products here. And uh, let me make this more pages because I'm looking for a certain product. Okay, one of the things I want you to note that is if it has an X, it's not live and I can't test it with anything that's got an X. It's not active. Anything with a green check mark is active. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to find a pair of shoes right here. And I'm going to select it. So what I, what I want to do is I want to go to the settings right here. And in the settings, it has one-click upsell, bump products, bundles, instant checkout, and related products. Right now, I'm just going to talk about the one-click upsell. So I'm going to click on that. And it gives me this thing that doesn't have any pictures. And I, it's been like that for a while. And I noticed on the Groovathon in August of 2000. 21 that that was the, they still had this but it says here go to the visual builder don't bother going to the visual builder because because that's just an outdated line and there's a different way to do this and i will be showing this to you but anyways in the one click upsell what you want to do is find another product okay so i'm going to go socks and i'm going to look for the one that is related to that so that's it right there and you hit save And you're all done. That's how easy it is. So now let's uh, preview the product. So here it is my shoes. And I'm just going to uh, select a size. I'm just going to go with whatever size is there. And I'm going to add it to my cart. Okay, then I'm going to put in my um, mailing address, and I just use this. It's a test account, and I'm, then I'm going to go to the payment step. But first, I have to check that I have read and accept the privacy policy. 
hit go to payment step. Okay, so we're in test mode. All right, it says test mode, use the card 424242. Four, two, four, two. It's just 42 as many times as it takes. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put 42. There it is right there. And here I can do anything. Um, 01, I'm guessing the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm guessing the year has to be at least 2021 or 22. I just go 25. And I'm just going to go one, two, three. And then it says finish my order. And what's going to happen is it's going to go to your bump page. All right. So one click bump. What it is, is you're trying to get your order value amount larger. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to hit finish my order. Boom. And uh, I don't want that. Here it is right here. And it says, it says, wait, we've got an exclusive uh, offer to complement your order. Add this to your order and get a discount. And we will ship it with other items. So the discount's already there. Um, you can say yes, or you could say no. I got two minutes and 38 seconds. It's going to automatically roll over. So this is yes, it rolled over all, already. So that needs to be wor worked on. But it says, thank you for your order. Now my phone's going to tell me I just got an order and blah, blah, blah. The one thing I wanted to show you was this right here. And I'm going to have to go through it all again. Edit layout. All right. I didn't like that layout. There were some things I wanted to, to fix on it. So let's uh, get rid of this. Let's, I'm, I'm here again. I'm just going to preview the product. I'm going to order the product. I'm going to put my uh, test account in there. I'm going to I'm going to have read and click that I have read and accept the policy. The other one says, keep me up to date on news and exclusive offers. And the other is create an account. I'm going to hit go to payment step. All right. Again, we're in, we're in that mode, the um, test mode. And I'm going to finish my order. No, I don't want to do that. No, thanks. So before it rolls over, I'm going to click Edit Layout. By clicking Edit Layout right there, it brings you into this page that we were just looking at, and we can fix it. All right. So, like, I don't need my logo, so I could just click on the logo and I could delete it. The, my logo is already up at the top. All right. The, there is the uh, act fast exclusive order runs out. This offer is not available. I'm not completely sure what it looks like. So let's, uh, and, but, but my point is, is here, here's where you would edit this, uh, this page a little bit, okay? So under the settings, this is where you can edit the amount of time before this product runs out. Um, it actually said three minutes, but it's probably some sort of default. So I'm going to change it to two minutes to see if it actually lasts. But my product's already gone through. I'd have to run it through again. So now I'm going to save this. And the reason I'm showing you this is because you can't get it through the page builder. It's not there at all. It doesn't talk about order bumps or anything like that. So, so generally that is on the upper right side there. If you're using Google Chrome, which you should be, because that's what this is all set up for. So here's what it looks like now. 
Uh, I don't know why that's there. I don't even need this. Um, I'm going to hit delete. And I'm going to hit delete this because I don't need this. So your order was submitted. It's a special order, and then you'll get a receipt. So what what what's going on here is you submitted your order, you gave them your credit card, and now it's installed because it it's giving you a special offer. It's holding on to your credit card, and if you accept it, it will add it to your credit card, and if you decline it, it will just move to the order with the the original price. So let's go through and try this all again here. Um, here I am. I'm just going to preview the product. I'm going to order it, add to cart. I already got my test account in there. I have read and accept the privacy policy. I'm going to go to the payment step again. Four two 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 four two. I'm just putting oh one. I can go oh five tab. Oh no, I don't want to tab that. Just oh five, and I can say twenty seven, and I could say three two one instead of one two three. It will work. Finish my order, and it keeps asking me. Google wants me to do something. No thanks. All right, so here it is right here. Um, looks like I didn't save it at, at the very end when I, when I took that off. So you got, probably got to do it. But now I'm going to accept this. Yes, add this to my order. Now my order confirmation comes out. And again, if you don't like this, you can edit it right here. I think there's another place within uh, GrooveCart that you can edit, edit it also. There's a thank you page. So that's that. So let's do this. Let's go. Um, right here, this one, I'm going to exit out of here. And then I'm going to go. And I'm going to go orders, my orders. And then you can see that uh, first, I this is the one that we did several times, $59.95. And then when I added the bump, it went right here. And it says credit card test. Okay, I hope this helped you out. If you got any questions, let me know. I'm going back to the same product, which I passed up, I guess. There it is right there. Okay, I'm going to settings. There's some other things. And one of the things I wanted to show you was related products, okay? I've already got them in here. And if I, if I had another related product, let's say... Uh, there are more related products to this. So let's say um, tote, uh, if I can spell, there's the tote bags and here's, my, here's the tote bag that goes along with this. So now I could have these related products there. Um, I'm gonna hit save. And I'm not sure if they're all three will show up because I've already set it up with two. So we'll find out here in a second. Preview the product. So here, here's my related products. Okay, now 
I put this in here when I built it. All right. So if you don't, if you select a related product and it's not there, you have to go to your builder. So let's see. Um, exit out of this. Don't need this. I don't need this. So, um, builder. So I'm opening up my builder. And I'm going to go to my pages. And these are the navigation pages. I'm going to go to pages. And I'm going to go to product page. And I, I'm guessing it was in high top layout number one. I'm going to select that. And I want you to notice at the bottom, I put in related products. This is not the products that are related, but it just it's just the dummy. And how did I do that? I went to elements and I went to product elements. And uh, then I got to got to look around here. Um, uh, related products, other related products. So I drag this in here. Okay, so by dragging it in here, it's given it to me twice now. So I'm going to delete this because I already had one. All right. And I, I just, I, I put the word related products by. So I went to global elements and I chose text and I chose some sort of tag. I'm not sure which tag I actually chose. It's an H2 tag that I chose. So I, what I would be doing is I'd be dra dragging in an H2 tag right there. Your custom title. I put related products and I moved it over to the left. And the reason I moved it over to the left because I really only had two products here. So it looks better to only have two products and it over to the left as opposed to it being in the center and then only having two products. So I'm going to delete that. And that's that. And let's look at one more thing. Okay, the last thing I want to point out to you is I originally had some problems because had some problems when I was putting in my one cell upsell, it would say, change the product category and that's because all my products were on home okay so i did i changed that uh to dog high tops and i changed the other one of course i can't see it 300 So this is dog high tops. It probably is the wrong one, dog high tops. This should say dog socks. So let me show you how to fix that. Um, I just check it there and then I go up to actions and I go uh, manage categories. All right, and here it is right here. And uh, so I want to go dog socks. And I'm going to click here, click here, and then I'm going to hit save. And it saved it. So um, dog high tops, dog socks. All right. But, but basically, all the rest of these said home. So let me just select another one right here. Actions. Manage categories. So it gives you this right here. For some reason, I end up with everything under the home category. So I uh, forgot what the product was. I'm really sorry. Okay, let me close this. Let me select a product. This is going to be um, canvas tote bags. So cats. So go up here again, actions. Manage category. This is under cats and uh, backpacks, hoodies, high tops, bags, canvas bags right here. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click there and it takes it off the home. I don't know if I want to do that because I also want it to show up in the home. All right. Hit save and you're all done. And so that's about it for this. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
And if you don't have a GrooveCard account, there's a link below that you can get a free GrooveCard account with no credit card needed. So I'll see you at the next video.